Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And we haven't had an episode for a good few days, so there is a load to get through. Team changes, SBC unlocks, all that good stuff. And to start things off, we have highlights of a game that I played in the Weekend League against a Verify Pro. Now, it's not just your standard pro player signed to a team. This guy lost to F2 Techs in the final of the Foot Champions Cup that was broadcasted on Twitch. And I didn't recognize his game attack. People in the chat when I was streaming, they said, yo, this guy is verified, rest in peace. And as the game went on, I was building up confidence. Like the conditions, the gameplay was absolutely perfect. And it allowed me to play to the best of my ability. And if I came out with a loss, which was most likely gonna happen, I knew that I could be happy with myself that I was able to play it and give it my all. And as the game started, I thought, you know what? I'll try and hold possession because if I let him build up that momentum, it's not going to look pretty. And as the game went on, I was building up, I was creating chances. But what this opened up my eyes uh, to the fact that my composure, when I really am desperate to maybe play the extra pass or take the shot or just get that ball to the back of the net is really what's holding me back because there was a chance with Hazard that you're going to be seeing and it's funny right because I was saying it all the way through the weekend league run right? well ever since I brought him back into the starting 11 this is the player of the month version because I've sold on a team of the season Mane but I'm going to have to speak about that I'll go into the team and show you all the changes so player of the month Hazard was brought back into the team and this weekend he was missing a lot of the chances that I felt that he would just bury anyway and it could be the the adjustment going from the team of the season Hazard to the player of the month like that shot power he doesn't have anymore so it's what I got used to so maybe that's what uh, cost me a little bit but the near post shots usually I would just hit green and the connection was perfect so it had nothing to do with that uh, usually I'd hit green and it would go in and I had a few like key chances against this man and and I, I don't want to say that I'd come away with the result right but if those went in it's not just has our chance but the eusebio one which was the difference now looking back at it i could have done so much i could have taken a touch waited for him to move his keeper i could have hit it first time i could have passed it over to mbappe who was in space i took a touch i shot and his keeper movement was pretty good and it was annoying. He, he had like a few chances as well uh, with R9. He was going for like low drivens near post a lot. Like he was trying to uh, find them. But I was really happy with the way I played. Towards the end though, what I would say in this game, I think it was stamina that came into it because there was no issues at all with the game. Uh, I made a pass for, I think it was Vieira. No, 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 sorry. The pass I made in the second half around about the 75th, 80th minute with Virgil van Dijk, I did a driven ball over to Goretzka and the game thought I wanted a pass over to Hazard. And in that play, I lost possession and it's not good losing possession against a pro player. And you can uh, probably guess what happened. But only losing 1-0, right? And I had chances myself against a Verify Pro. I'm happy with that. And I thought that I played pretty well in the game. And I felt a little bit unlucky. But you know what? That's a good progress that we made. And this weekend, I played pretty well. I was like 17-2. and two. No, I think I was 20-2 and two at one point uh, with the weekend league run. But on Wednesday, we have footies that are coming. So that's why I wanted to continue the grind uh, in the weekend league. Get our hands on some team of the season packs, which we have. So I'll make uh, some changes. I really want to see like a Fabian Scher uh, be brought out you know like team of the season moment cards like players that missed out on an SBC I think it'd be awesome to see uh, Felipe Anderson, Pogba all of those players are introduced into the footies lineup and then we have this african sbc that i haven't got ready yet but i'm going to save those packs for the footies that get released on wednesday i think that's just a good idea i do i do believe that we've got like mad of the matches right now um aguero has he come out like pulisic those those types of players but i don't know if they're still in packs and i don't want to risk opening the packs and not really pulling anything just like standard players so i'd rather yeah save them for wednesday so we have like a little uh, mini pack opening but with the team changes like it's it's looking great like this squad i'm so pleased that i sold mane right to sort out the defense now not only have we fixed like the desai situation we've got a new icon unlock in shimaiko and i'll speak about uh, how he played in a second but we've also got a new left back and i know that we've already had uh, alexandro being unlocked and we were using him and stuff but i don't want to be restricted with some of the upgrades that i want to make and this man that i have brought in 
is fantastic. And I think I prefer him over Alexandro anyway. So if you are enjoying the series, please do leave a like. Uh, if you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't miss a video from me. And let's go to the team to start off with. And I'll show you what I've done and break down the squad and show you how it played. Let's go. So I do apologize if you heard any background noise. Next door, once again, are always having work done to their house. Drilling, sawing, cutting, you know the deal. I'm sorry. Transfer list. What's been sold? Like I said, Mane, 1,390,000. We bought him for 1.3, and there is nothing wrong with the card. Electric down that left-hand side. His skilling, the dribbling, cutting inside, taking those shots, had a lot of enjoyment. But I knew that if I sold him and freed up the coins, we could fix the defense and bring in even more players. So Manny's gone. Alisson or Black, you would have seen in the last episode. What have we really done with the coins? I've brought back one of my favorite cards on the game and it is Raphael Varane, Marcelo, not so much to Michael, but he was good, right? A lot of people said, do you rate Michael? Yes, we used 60,000 in coins and then a lot of untradeables to bring him to the RTG. And he's just slightly worse than a Van der Sar. Some of the saves that he was pulling off, really good reflexes. I rate this guy and I can truthfully recommend him uh, to you boys. Now with the two team of the years, the deadly duo, we've got Raphael Varane that we bought for 1,220,000. And it's really like trying to compare him to Eda Militeo, who's better. Maybe Varane edges it a little bit. Um, slightly more control going into a tackle and coming away with the ball, but there's nothing really wrong with Eda. But 1.2 million with these kind of stats, I want him. Alongside Virgil van Dijk, surely that's the best partnership on the game. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then left back position, Marcelo. What a player. As soon as I brought him in, the difference that he offers compared to Alexandro, a lot better on the ball, allows me to control the game slightly better with uh, the dribbling, the skilling down the left-hand side. And look at that, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Remember when we had the foot birthday card and I was even using him as a cam? And that's what I'd recommend if you guys are looking to bring Marcelo into the midfield, get the foot birthday version, it's cheaper. But using this man as a left-back with 97 stand tackle, 97 interceptions. And I don't know Notice the high to low work rates to be an issue. He's in position, he makes interceptions, and I like him for that. But Alexandro is very good defensively, but I think Marcelo is just better for me, like going down the left hand side. He even scored a banger of a goal. Like 27 games played already with the card, and I'm so pleased that I made that upgrade. So the defense, um, if you're just judging the defenders, not the goalkeeper, is perfect. Like there's nothing wrong with that at all. I love it. Shamichael. Yeah, amazing, but I think Van der Sar just edges it a little bit. In the midfield, I was still using Gretzka over Hullet, but Hullet was being brought on as an impact sub, and he did change a few of those games, like two goals in one of them. Uh, he's very good at the back, but Gretzka, I just like him defensively, and uh, I've got the option with Hullet, which is amazing. What I do want to upgrade, though, is Hazard to someone that is just completely top tier, like a team of the year, Neymar, uh, something like that, a team of the season, Neymar. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what I'm looking to upgrade, but I'm wanting to make as many coins as I can from this Thursday's rewards. But what do you think of that? How good does that look? It's, in my opinion, it's 10 out of 10. For an RTG team, and, and I, I tell you what, Sterling was used as an impact sub. He came on and he changed two games. Sterling... What a player, 96 rated. He scored one with his left and then one that was a beautiful chip. And then Mertens is always like just perfect for me coming off the bench as well. So that is what the RTG team is looking like right now. Um, we do have uh, SPC, sorry. Uh, we do have SPCs that uh, came out. The one that I'm interested in, I think I briefly spoke about it, which was the African football one. Uh, you're getting a 100k pack for completing the whole thing, as well as like a couple of packs along the way. Do you know um, one of the SPCs that I really enjoyed? I don't know if it was FIFA 18 or FIFA 17, but they released something similar to that. And every individual SPC, you had one of the uh, squad building challenges cards. Do you remember it? Like, I, I know I, I can remember Ndidi for one, and there were a few like Lalana. I think he got one. Uh, I'd like to see that again, maybe be released in the form of like a, the footies promo. But Fernando Torres, I came up against him and he scored a banger. Like, he seems very quick, okay on the ball, and his finishing is crazy. Don't give him space. And for his prize, for a 94, sorry, 95 rated card, it seems great value. Do I want to do it? Do I have like another Icon SBC that I want to unlock? Um, 
I don't know right now. I really don't know. So it's not worth 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 my while to unlock Fernando Torres because I'm not really going to use him. I may as well use the coins towards the African football SBC. But we've got a new challenge, boys. Uh, this one is from the weekly objective. It is completely different. It should be good fun. Sweeper keepers win three online single matches using only keepers. So you should be coming up against those to earn a 50k pack on tradable. So all of these packs I'm going to gather during the week are going to be saved for Wednesday for the footies promo. Do you want to see my team? It's not looking good. I'm not going to lie. I try my best to create as much chemistry and I don't know if you're going to notice. Where am I going? You don't, I don't know if you're going to notice really much of a difference if you use like team of the season players red picks i got shemichael and full chemistry and goal and then i have these two the duo donnarumma and edison now how quick are they in game are they gonna have 98 speed is that what it is or is it just the acceleration 58 sprint speed 68 and then he has 82 acceleration 80 sprint speed damn that is fast so you're telling me that edison is just gonna feel so rapid and carry the ball for me I like the sound of that. Right, let's get in some online single games and see what this is about. I've never ever used a full goalkeeper team on any ultimate team. Wish me luck. Let's smash it. Come on. He's going to save everything. I, I can't even score against him with Mbappe, let alone Edison. Even if you're a tactical genius, how the hell do you approach this? Who do you put up top? Who do you put in the defense? Is there any like method or do you just hope for the best? Donnarumma though is like six foot nine. Um, Edison, I can see Donnarumma. I'm making my way towards. This is great stuff already. I've gone for just a four four two right to help me spread the play and hold possession somehow. Edison, Edison, nah nah nah. Edison's feeling like Mbappe out here. Bravo is also good with his feet. That's why I brought him into the starting eleven. What a ball! Modric would be proud of that one. He's bringing out his keeper. No way. What have I just scored? You are kidding me right now. A chip with Consigli. Outside the box, three chemistry. Oh, thank God for that. He's using Allison as a left back instead. So we've got Subasic in goal. Now we can bat a Subasic. I feel this. We've got Viviano. Maybe it was Viviano that scored or Consigli. I don't know. Uh, I didn't have enough time. Oh, oh. green timed. Boral. Oh, he can't do a ball roll. Who can do a ball roll? I didn't actually check that. Maybe that'd be pretty OP if you could do ball rolls against um, the defenders. Well, they're not defenders, they're goalkeepers. Yes, well done. Who's there? Donnarumma. Look at this play. Look at this passing. It's, it's Barca-esque right now. Oh, bravo. Fantastic. Thanks for your contribution. Has he really gone part the bus? Oh, come on, man. Uh-oh. It's okay. Mandanda. He's got the pace. Oh my. Virgil van Dijk. Reveal yourself. Edison. Oh. Pass. Oh, that touch. Go on. Go on. Oh. Fake shot. Yes. Pass it. Across. No. Super Oh, it's a pin. It's a pin. Oh, Shemichael. No, no, no. Who's got the best uh, penalty? Uh, 39 pens. Oh, damn. He has got a good penalty. Well, 39. Oh, Christ. Oh. Yes! Go on, Jermichael. He's going to quit as well. First goal wins. Jermichael, the best unlock for 60,000 coins with untradables. He stepped up in a big game. We need one more, and we get that 50k pack. No, Allison, another opponent that wants to use him in goal. But then his attack... Well, it's all full of keepers, but they look terrible. Oh, we're building up nicely. This could be good. This could be the goal already, boys. Oh, thanks. Player switch. No, this isn't looking good, Shemichael. Hey, yeah. he's not going to get beaten by a keeper. Come on. He was saving the likes of Ronaldo, CR7, all of them. That's mine. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. What the hell are you playing at, Shemichael? Oh, yes. I like this already. I like this. I like it very much. Edison. Time shot. Put it in the back of your net, please. Over the top, Donnarumma. The vision. Fantastic pass. I've been I've been uh, impressed with the way they've been able to pick out some passes. Oh, this guy really has dropped back. Oh, come on now. Flick it around the corner. Punish him for that. 
Oh, concealing. Through. No. Yes, yes, yes. Turn. Do him. Finish. Wow. We're really out here doing this right now. Could that be a rate? No, he's staying in the game. All right. 1-0 at the break. We are leading, and that's all important. I came close with another chance, but... He saved it. It's okay, though. I'm surprised that he's still in the game. Like, he's got to score two goals against my Michael. He probably thinks I want a free kick. Who am I going to bang it at a free kick? Oh! Jesus! Oh, I maybe should have shot first time, but I was trying to pass it in the net. Like, if I'm taking a regular shot, Edison's saving it, you know? i got to do something. i got to pass across. Big win. If only. I need a second goal just to wrap this game up. Matthew Ryan is completely dead. Great pass to over to Edison. Edison. Oh, trust Edison to get a rebound. And he has. Go. No, oh, hold on. Fate shot. Oh, the dribbling. Edison. For a second. I thought he had what it took. Take him out, take him out if I need to. Matthew Ryan, clear that ball. And we've done it. Three in three. Let me know if you guys had a perfect run with this objective. Like a 50k pack. And it's different. It might become a little frustrating to do. But my suggestion is to spread the play. What that taught me is to make sure to pass it into space. Don't look for that intricate play. Otherwise, you're just going to get closed down. Spread it. Use a 4-4-2. Don't go part the bus because you need players in the attack to pass to. You can't just dribble past like one or two players. That's not going to work so much. But full time, smashed it. And there it is. Weekly objective. Sweeper keepers unlocked. And anything else that we can do to get some uh, awesome packs. Win three rival matches using only players bought off the market to earn a jumbo rare players pack. So what you're telling me is that I pretty much need to build like a full team. That's something that could be worthwhile though. Um, it's just a little worrying that I've only got 100,000 coins. So I'm pretty much going into rivals in division one with a budget team. That could be quite difficult. That's something that we can unlock. Uh, the daily routine, that's for a prime gold players pack. I don't think I'll be able to do that all. But at least they're releasing some uh, good objectives. It's just funny how they brought this stuff out with awesome packs just as Team of the Season finished. But then we can just save them for footies. That's what I'm doing. But Sweeper Keeper's unlocked. And for tomorrow's video, I think I'm going to go through like the best of the best Team of the Seasons that I've used, like the most overpowered ones, to let you guys know like the ones that I'd recommend. And if you like the sound of that, leave a like. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please also leave a like and support it. But that's where we're going to end today's RTG episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you boys on the next one. Team out. Peace.